So I was really pleased to see how popular my spinner video was. One question they've asked me is, what's the job of the ball bearings on the outsides of the spinner arms? Well, you might not like this answer. There's no job for them whatsoever. In fact, they're just there because it's much cheaper to punch four holes of exactly the same size in a bit of plastic and then use something that you can buy in bulk, and they're very cheap if you buy in bulk, um, as a rotating mass. And you'll know this because you'll see some spinners don't have bearings on the outside um, and they work just as well and some if not better. So I looked online and I found out that if you buy a thousand of these then essentially 20p is all they cost each. So it sounds odd doesn't it but you just need a bit of mass out there. It's easier um, to simply use these than it is to design something specific for these spinners and they want to be as cheap as possible. I've seen a lot of this. I've seen a lot of um, people trying to explain the spinner by saying well what happens is the bearings push outwards and that keeps it spinning. It's a common misconception. People think this because there's a common uh, demonstration of circular motion which is spinning a bucket of water around and the, the water doesn't fall out of the bucket and they say well okay that means that the water is constantly pushing outwards which means that uh, it doesn't fall down due to its own weight when it's above you for example. Uh, that's incorrect um, and we can tell that. Let's, let's imagine we're going around a, a corner in a really fast car. Well we're going to be pushed it's going to feel like at least, we're going to be pushed towards the outside of the car. But that is not because the car is pushing out on us. The car is doing a force into the centre of that corner. Okay, now this force is called a centripetal force. A lot of people say they call these forces centrifugal forces. But we don't like to call that that in physics because it's not, it's not a force in that direction at all. In fact, the force is towards the centre of a spinning object. So the masses on each of the spinner arms are actually pushing into the centre to keep it spinning. The resultant force is towards the centre and we call that a centripetal force. So what is that thing? We do feel like we're being pushed to the edge of the car or the water does stay in there. It's called a centrifugal effect. If I'm spinning something around, okay, I'm doing a constant force into the centre of that thing's rotation. Now if at any point that centripetal force goes, the object will move away in its direction it was travelling at that point. So it feels like you're constantly being pushed to the outside because you're kind of constantly wanting to carry on going in the linear direction that you were going. And this force is trying to bring you inwards. So at any point you get rid of that force or you carry on going the way you were going. And that feeling of being of wanting to be moved a bit outside of that circle is the centrifugal effect. We call it a centripetal force because a force causes an acceleration and an acceleration is a change in speed or direction. The spinner wants to kind of move continuously as it was going in a linear direction but the force is constantly accelerating it round and round and round into the circle and it's actually that force which then causes the friction in the bearing which eventually causes all that energy to be lost to heating, eventually the spinner stops. You can notice that effect if we take out some of the bearings and then the rotating masses are imbalanced. Now if you found that interesting or useful, I've got news for you, you're probably quite into physics. Uh, welcome to Gorilla Physics, this is my channel where I'm all about helping people understand physics more so that they enjoy their physics more, so they're gaining confidence and then they can do better in those exams. So if you do like that, if you're interested in, if you're doing GCSE Sciences or Physics and you're interested in going on to A-Level, then stick around, maybe subscribe because we'll be making loads of content that will help you out with your school physics. Right, thank you very much for watching.